Jesus came to do two things. To change our minds about God and to change our minds about ourselves. Let's deal with the first one. In John chapter 10 verse 30, Jesus says, I and God are one. And in John 14 verse 7, when speaking to his disciples, Jesus says, If you had known God, you would know me. But you know me, so therefore you know God. You see me and therefore you see God. In Colossians chapter 1, verse 15, the Bible says, Christ is the image of the invisible God. In John chapter 1, verse 14, the Bible says, The Word became flesh and lived amongst people. In Isaiah 7, verse 14, and Matthew 1, verse 23, the Bible says, A virgin shall give birth to a son, and his name shall be called Emmanuel, which means God with us. See, that is who Jesus is. He is God living with us. He is the image of God. When we see Jesus, we see God. If you want to know God, you've got to know Jesus. If you want to understand the nature and the character of God, you have to understand the nature and the character of Jesus. He went about healing the sick when he was on earth. He went about opening the eyes of the blind, making the crippled to walk, opening the ears of the deaf, raising the dead, and even saving a life of a woman who was sentenced to death by the law. The heart of God is not for us to perish. The heart of God is not for us to live without him in confusion and in sin. His heart is for us to be holy, to be perfect, to be like him. And Jesus came so that we can be all of them. The second point, that he came to change our minds about ourselves 